Hello and welcome to Cinebuck Presents, where I give my two bucks instead of my two cents. When it comes to adapting children's books into movies, it can be done if it's done right, with the right kind of people and the right kind of artistic vision. Unfortunately for this movie adaptation, it didn't exactly turn out right. It's loosely based on the book of the same name by Crockett Johnson, which features a young boy named Harold who lives in a book and can create anything he wants with the use of a magical purple crayon. This movie serves as a sequel to the book in which Harold grows up into a young man and one day learns that there's a place called the real world. So he decides to create a door to gain access to it. His animal friends, Moose and Porcupine, join him on the adventure, becoming human in the process. They all soon start to realize that the real world isn't quite like what they had in mind. One other conflict that does come into play is a librarian named Gary who has written an unpublished fantasy novel and wants to use Harold's purple crayon to his own advantage. Harold and his friends must try to find a way back home before things really start to get out of hand. Now, one could make the argument that with enough imagination like that featured to the premise in the original book, it can open up numerous storytelling possibilities. However, the creative process to this movie simply wasn't done right, when it's based on a book that did not have much of a basis for a feature-length story, kind of like the live-action Cat in a Hat movie from 2003. It's generally your standard fish-out-of-water story that's told rather clumsily, while attempting to be charming, quirky, and wholesome. The atmosphere to capture such traits simply wasn't there, especially while there are some obvious moments that could be seen coming from afar. There are a few amusing bits, such as the 2D animation that serve as bookends to the film, as well as the meaningful message at the end. But was the journey to get to those points truly worth it? In this critic's opinion, no. It's nothing more than an excuse for actors and crew people to find work in show business. If there's one thing that can be learned from this movie, it's that certain children's books ought to be left alone. I have a feeling that if Crockett Johnson himself were still alive to see this, he probably would have been furious to see his creation end up the way it did. This movie ought to have taken a reality check and realized that it simply wasn't worth the imaginative effort of being brought to life onto the silver screen. On a scale between 1 and 10, I give this film a 5 and a half. This is Renton Whitetail having given his two bucks and signing off. I'll see you next time. Take care.